Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to compare these three different fog lights. I've got the Honda uh, fog light kit, the OEM kit that comes from Honda, which came from CycleMax.com. I've got the Rivco fog lights, and I've got the new Pathfinder LED multifunction lights uh, from SoCal Motor Gear. <laughs> Uh, just to be uh, give a fair disclaimer right up front, uh, I was uh, sponsored by all three of these companies. CycleMax sponsored the Honda fog light video, uh, and I was sponsored by these companies to produce installation videos and review videos for these products. So I just want you to know up front, just to uh, so that you have that information. Now. I'm going to point out what I think are the strong points and the weak points of all three of these products. Now, let's talk about the Honda OEM fog lights first. I say OEM because they come from Honda. It's a pretty basic fog light, but it works well. It's not super bright, but it's, uh, it's better than no fog light at all. If you already have these installed on your motorcycle, it's a good system. The advantage, or one of the advantages, of the Honda fog light is A, it's a Honda product, so it's covered under Honda's warranty. It also has the Honda wiring harness, so it connects through the motorcycle to the OEM switch, the button on your console, on your center panel switch. And there are a lot of people out there, a lot of consumers, that they want the Honda quality, they want the Honda build quality, the reputation, and everything else. So that's the advantage of the Honda fog light. Now let's go to the Rivco. The Rivco fog light, its advantage over the Honda, and maybe even over the SoCal, is it is super, super simple to install. It's basically this one bracket and it just bolts to an existing hole or bolt hole on the bike, actually where your horn mounts to the motorcycle. So it's a very simple installation. Whereas the Honda and the Pathfinder LED use a much more sophisticated bracket system. It also has the ability to adjust the beam left and right, something that you can't do on the other two models. And the Rivco light is super bright. It is probably the brightest of the three, especially when you get to lumens. Now, don't get all hung up on lumen count because those numbers can be a little misleading. The downside of the Rivco light is the light just goes everywhere. It's not focused at all. There's no focused beam or lens to focus this light down the road. So what you get is a little bit of a scattering effect of the light. But if you want a light that is super bright to oncoming traffic, uh, the Rivco is a good choice. Now, it, um, the only thing I'm concerned about is this plastic cover on the front. I'm not sure how it will withstand a rock strike. It feels a little bit less substantial than the plastic covers on the Honda and the uh, SoCal Moto Gear Pathfinder LED light. The other thing I would consider about this light is it does not use the little foam ring to install it in the fog light cover. I don't know that that makes a big difference. I'm not really sure what purpose that foam ring serves anyway, but uh, just so you be aware. It does have a pretty large heat sink on the back to dissipate heat. Um, I have no reason to believe that they're anything but top quality. Like I said before, they're super bright, but the light's not focused. Now, some people might be concerned that this light is so bright to oncoming traffic that it's going to be a distraction, that it will distract uh, drivers coming towards you. So if that's a concern of yours, um, that certainly is a possibility with this Rivco light. But like I said, it's very easy to install. It comes with its own wire harness, its own proprietary switch, and the other advantage or disadvantage, however you want to look at it, 
is because it does not use the Honda wire harness, these can remain on when you have on your high beams. Now in some states, that's illegal. In some states, the fog lights must go off when your high beams come on. And the Rivco switch uh, bypasses that Honda circuitry that makes that possible. So that's another thing you should consider. The other thing to consider is the um, connectors on the Rivco do not appear to me to be really that weatherproof. Uh, one of my connectors actually came off. You can see here the little uh, connector. I had to take it apart to do this video. And when I did, it popped the connector off the wire. It's not a big deal. I can. There's standard connectors you can buy anywhere. I can put another one on. But uh, it's just something to be aware of. Whereas the Honda uses their proprietary connector, as does the uh, SoCal Moto Gear, which both of these fit into the wire harness from Honda. Okay, now let's talk about the Pathfinder LED from the multifunction LED from SoCal Moto Gear. Now I left this on the bracket because I actually have these mounted on my bike right now. I'm still testing them. It uses virtually the identical mounting hardware that the Honda light uses. The, uh, in fact, if you look at the lamp assembly when it comes in, other than the front area, it looks like an exact knockoff of a Honda fog light, except they've added this little ring of LEDs, like a halo uh, LED on the outside, which are the daytime running lights, or DRLs. It also has a little bit different wire harness in that it has an extra wire, a little plug here, and this is what controls the multifunction capability. Now this is the right side lamp. The left side lamp actually has a wire that goes back to the battery to power all of that circuitry that handles this multifunction capability. Now what I like about this light, even though it's not as bright as the Rivco when it comes to lumens, it's got a good focus light, I'd say better than the Honda, and it's got the multifunction. And the multifunction is just, you know, there's no other way to put it, it's just cool. It's got the DRLs that are around the outside ring of the light, which you can use by themselves, or you can have the fog light, which is the bright light, along with the DRLs. Or you can have just the flashing DRLs in what they call a strobe mode. And you control this through the number of presses on the button on your dash. So when you press, this uses the Honda circuitry. And this uses the Honda OEM switch. So if you have Honda fog lights already installed on your bike, and you want to add the cool functionality from the Pathfinder LED, you can simply swap this out and it'll plug right into the wiring harness on your Honda and it will use the switch you already have installed. That's pretty cool. Now you can do the same thing with the Rivco, but you're going to have to cut the connector off of your Honda OEM uh, harness to wire up these two wires because they do not use the Honda connector. So anyway, on the Pathfinder, it, it goes right into your Honda OEM harness. It also comes with its own harness. And it's pretty much a direct swap out. You could literally use the same brackets. And in fact, I think uh, SoCal Moto Gear is going to offer these lamps where you just have the lamp assembly and the little sub harness and you don't need all the bracketry because if you have the Honda fog lights installed, these install identical. They will install in the Honda brackets. It's that much of a similar setup. It's virtually identical. So, which one would I recommend? Which ones are the best? Um, hard to say because it's a matter of personal taste. Like I say, some people are going to like the fact they've got the Honda name, the Honda warranty, just the fact that it's a Honda product. Some people are going to love the simple installation of the Rivco and the super, super brightness of the Rivco, especially to oncoming traffic. And then some people are going to love this multifunction capability. I don't really think there's a loser in the bunch. I think they're all good products. Hopefully now you know the differences between these three systems 
and it will help you make a decision. Like I say, there's not a loser in the bunch. They're all good lights. They all do what they're supposed to do. And um, let me know in the comments down below uh, which system you decided to go with for your uh, 2018 Goldwing. And also, if you like this video and you enjoy videos like this, uh, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And uh, we appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of Cruise Man's Garage.